it is said or believed that succulents don't like water. Of course they do. They love water. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. So this one has been soaking in here for a week. These were cuttings that I've taken a few months ago. I left them to dry, so you can see. And then, uh, that's why it's sitting on this container. So this container doesn't have any holes. So I left it here to root up. And they're all well uh, rooted up. I actually put it under my the secret chair in my garden, my translucent chair. Now anyway, this is... Echeveria agavoides prolifera and it's pink it goes all pink in summer beautiful plant to have in summer I took some cuttings I left it in this container and then I let them root up but I forgot about them and it was hiding under the chair because I thought it's not going to get rained on but it did it got wet and so I drained the water out and then took it out and put it out um, under my other chair again which is sort of protected but still it still gets certain amount of sunlight or direct sunlight therefore it got burned so those dark tips they're not dark tips beautiful like the <laughs> bloody maria the echeveria bloody maria they're just burnt tips and even this one this one is badly burned look at that that's badly burned but while it's sitting there getting burnt or sunburned we had rain, so we've been having rain for a few days now, and this thing, I just kept forgetting to take it out, and then so I thought, might as well leave it there and see what happens, see how long before it rots. Now, I'm going to examine it now, and it hasn't rotted. That one is more like dying from being, so this one's a goner, so even the leaves, look at that, that's all, yeah, burnt, so I will throw it away. Now, this one here now, they're still good, look at that, so the roots have actually freshened up because it got dried up and then now they're freshened up again and then those are leaves that's dried up, they're just eating themselves up. So the bottom leaves sort of feeds the top leaves or the central leaves, the baby leaves in the center. And that's what most succulents do. And look at this one, so that baby one has been underwater for a long time and look, it's going sort of green and it looks like it's going to rot, but it's not. That's actually beautiful. Look at the tips. So these ones now are all, oh look, see, look, it's pulling the newspaper because it's stuck to the newspaper. That goes to show that this is not a setup or anything like that. So just go try it and <laughs> take some cuttings, let it root up uh, and then put it in the sun and let it dry up and then let it get rained on and they will look exactly the same as these ones that I've got here. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that because now I'm just going to drain these ones now. Oh poor thing, look at you. So we're just going to drain you. Oh look at that, it's all like sticky. So I'm just going to drain the water in the garden. I could drain it here somewhere, but I'm not going to put it on my succulents. And then I'm going to clean it up. So I don't know whether that's a quick tip or just to give you an idea of not to be afraid to water your succulents. So if the roots are absorbing water, then the succulents will not die. But if the top is getting watered and the roots are not, then your succulent will rot. Now I better put this in the shade now or no I actually should really leave this out here to dry and I'm gonna stick that in the garden tomorrow or this afternoon. 